I'm sure you've asked yourself, am I the only one going through pain right now? Oh, and why am I looking like a hunchback from Notre Dame? Well, I'm glad you asked, because I'm about to tell you. Right now, my neck at the moment is completely stiff. I can't really turn it. It hurts. And if you're thinking, you're way too young for this. No way, Susan. Go ahead and tell me more about how physical health conditions and diseases discriminate against age. Go. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's the only way to get through the pain. <laughs> so this happens every so often. I have herniated and bulging this, which is very common for a lot of people. And no, I wasn't in an accident or anything like that. I just used to fall a lot back in my more youthful days, you know? Kind of like this. <laughs> Let's see that again. Okay, one more time. Now in slow motion. Yeah, that was a fun day. And so every now and then I get a flare up like this, which gets triggered by doing a stupid, sudden little move. And when I say stupid, I mean stupid. Like just a little hop, uh, sneezing, even brushing my teeth once. Yeah, that's how stupid it is. But it's my life. <laughs> So why am I telling you this? Well, it's not so that you can feel bad for me. Don't cry for me, Argentina. But because just like I have this painful condition, I can acknowledge that you all have some sort of painful condition in your life as well. And do you ever notice that when you're telling someone about the pain that you're actually going through, there's always someone that's like, oh, Yeah, well, I have this and my pain is much worse because I had to go through this and blah, blah, blah. And Almost like if humans are so dang competitive that we even want to compete on who feels the worst pain in life. Like, dude, you you can win that competition by all means but as they tell you about their pains inside your head you're like yeah I get it but this is about me about what I'm going through my pains because for some reason we think that we're the only ones in the world going through pain and feeling this but guess what you're not everybody <laughs> I can't get too excited. <laughs> this sucks so bad. Let's try that again, shall we? Everyone feels pain. Everyone is going through something. Whether it's physical pain or an emotional heartache or the most silent of all. Shh, a mental issue. Shh, we can't say that too loud. Because then the conservative people say that we're being crybabies. And then they start burning Nike stuff, so shh, shh. This world is filled with 7 billion people and everyone experiences this terrible thing that we call pain. No one is immune to it and no one can escape it. And although we want to be selfish, which is understandable, especially when you're going through pain, you're thinking about me, 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 I want to feel better. But we also have to acknowledge and be conscious that every single person is fighting against something. I'm usually fighting against spiders most of the time. If you don't believe me, check out my other videos. Everyone is struggling with a battle that we may not have a single clue as to what it is. So that's why we should never assume that we have it worse than someone else simply by what we think we see going on as you're watching this you could be feeling the heartache the mental fatigue the physical stress if that's you at this moment I just want to encourage you to just hang on a little bit longer somehow sometime soon it'll get better because as long as you have life there is always hope see right now this pain really sucks but I know eventually I'll be okay in the meantime I just got to be cautious and give myself time to heal kind of like you need to do in that painful area in your life as well thing is once I have my normal range of motion back in my neck I'll truly appreciate even more that feeling of being pain free not having any pain gosh I sound like I'm doing like a, a pain gel commercial want to be pain free try pain escape the perfect penetrating pain relief <laughs> It sounds so stupid. See, I'm a firm believer that pain will always exist in this sinful world until the day that God comes back and resets everything to the way it's supposed to be. But until then, we have to live with it. We have to learn to deal with it. But that doesn't mean we have to let it dictate our lives. We must find ways to overcome the pain by enjoying and appreciating the days we're not in pain. I mean, think about a soldier in the middle of a battle, fighting a war, going through all that he's going through, pain and suffering. What does he think about? He thinks about his family, about going home, about the time he spent with them. That's what gives him the motivation to endure. And overcome the pain by remembering those moments and it's so crucial to hold on to those moments especially on the days that we really feel like giving up we have to find ways to endure by remembering those pain-free moments of our lives remember that strong hug that you received from a loved one you haven't seen in a long time remember that unforgettable fun time you had with your friends where your stomach hurt from laughing so much Remember being bold and daring, taking that leap that led to an extraordinary moment. Remember that time that you felt at your absolute lowest, yet somehow you overcame. Remember everything you had to go through to finally reach the happiest day of your life. So remember and embrace the good times. Fight and utilize that pain properly to turn it into power. Like my mama would say, Ponte Vixi, yeah, put some Vix on that painful air in your life. And keep moving forward like the warrior you are.